Good news! PixInsight released a new version which includes StarNet, which means we can get all these uh, starless images much easier than before. I thought I would make a video explaining to you how to use it really quick and it's going to be very easy and straightforward so you can get your first starless image. The first thing you want to do is to install the latest version of PixInsight. As of today, it's 1.8.8-6. In this version, StarNet is already built inside the software. Download the network weights for StarNet. So we have a link below, go through it and download this file here. This will contain two important files, mono and rgb starnet weights.pb. So go to your program files or applications folder and look for PixInsight. Uh, open it and then go inside the library folder. Uh, now what you want to do is to copy and paste the mono underscore starnet underscore weights.pb and rgb underscore starnet underscore weights.pb files into the library folder. In our case, we made a subfolder called starnet and we placed those two files in there. I don't think it matters where you put the actual files, um, but for our case, we just used the library folder. So if you want to be safe, just do the same. Then open PixInsight and go to process and look for StarNet. We need to link those two files. So click on the wrench icon and in the new window, uh, for RGB weights file, look for the, um, the RGB underscore StarNet underscore weights.pb file, which should be in the library folder of PixInsight. Then for grayscale weights file, look for the mono file and link those to uh, StarNet. And now your process should look like this. And now if you want, you can give it a try. So open up any old TIFF file or even maybe JPEG and run the process even with the settings by default and see if the stars get removed. And depending on the file, it might or might not work you know, really well. But uh, for example, on our Pelican Nebula here, it's working pretty okay. There is still some stars here and there, but overall it's obviously working. Now for the settings, you're not supposed to touch the settings. There is no point. But by curiosity, here is the shader region with 128 stride, and here is the same, but with only 32 stride. As you can see, there is almost no difference, so you don't really have to change the settings at all. Now, StarNet is best used early in the uh, processing workflow, so uh, it works best on non-linear images, so the the best time to use it is right after stretching your image to non-linear. So in our case, we use uh, StarNet right after we stretched our image using histogram transformation and uh, so really early in the processing workflow. If you check the box create star mask, it will create a second image with only a star mask this time. So you can easily add those stars back into the image at the very end. So in this case, I just run StarNet right after doing a histogram transformation and then I processed the heart nebula all the way until the end. A quick note though, StarNet is not perfect, so you might have to use some uh, Photoshop techniques or even clone stamp on PixInsight to remove some of the artifacts left from the stars. And in the end, you can just add the stars back to the image by uh, opening Pixel Math and simply adding both files together. So in our case, uh, we just add the, uh, the starless image and add a plus sign and then add the star mask image. So pixel math will just combine both images uh, because of the plus sign. And if you want, you can also you know, uh, add some more math into it. Like for example, you can add uh, the star mask only at 50%. So you can just do starless image plus in parentheses 0.5 times the star mask, close parentheses, and then it will only add half uh, of the opacity of the star mask. And to finish, here is the image of the heart nebula with no stars, and here is the image of the heart nebula with stars added back to it at the very end. So let us know which one you prefer. Um, it was a really great experience to try Starlet for the first time, finally, 
and I am really in love with the starless image of the Heart Nebula. Thank you.